they had three major policies that were going to be followed. First, the Supreme says we have to make sure that people, humans, get to believe that, uh, that Satan and his angels do not really exist. You know, Roger, that's interesting because a recent research study report that I read indicated that in a national survey, I believe it's over 75% of people mm -hmm. do not really believe in a real tangible devil. Mm -hmm. But there is one. Oh, yeah. oh, the next thing, that the, the, the pre parts policy that they had uh, adopted there, the second one was to find a way of being able to get total control of people's minds. And that would be done by taking hypnotism out of the realm of the occult and introduce it as a new science for the benefit of mankind. They felt that uh, by taking hypnotism out of the realm of the occult and introducing it as a new science for the benefit of mankind, they could then use people of great renown educators, people of capacity that would uh, do great things such as supposedly regress people in time to pre to former lives. And of course after the session is over the person would not know a thing about ancient history. And the person she talk, she or he has talked about uh, performing, you know, certain deeds, let's say, uh, three, four thousand years ago. But this was their, their strategy. Now, what this would, uh, would do for the thing is this, that uh, it would create in the minds of the general public, solidly, set in the mind of the general public, uh, and an unwavering trust in that great deception. So now this would be a way of, this Christian, of uh, de Christianizing the Western world through the avenue of mysticism. The three things yeah. were number one, that they did not want Satan, Satan did not want the human family to think that he or his angels existed. Right. The second point that you made had to do with taking control of people's minds. That's right. The third point was what? Was to destroy the Bible without burning it. Okay. See. And what was the strategy on that? On that, um, it was very interesting. Because after the great general council, it was decided that Satan would tutor Charles Darwin personally in setting up the uh, uh, the principles of his theories of evolution. He was tutored by Lucifer himself, the fallen Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was understood, Satan and his uh, spirit counselors understood that if a person was led to believe in the theory of evolution, it would in his life destroy completely the, the, the uh, creation week of the Bible, the fall of man and plan of redemption. It would go away. Anyone that teaches a theory of evolution is considered to be a minister of a great religious system. And he said that every teacher of that theory is recognized by the spirits as a person of great value and receives a very special unction from Satan himself, giving great power to induce spiritual blindness, to convince and convert three capacities.
for harvesting the nations, uh, for, for harvesting the multitudes of the earth into his cause, just before the close of the great controversy between the forces of good and evil. It's going to be done in a unique manner. It's, this grand plan is, is, is going to take people, people are going to eat the stuff. Because it says, spirits, demon spirits, will declare themselves to be inhabitants of far distant planets in the galaxies that are coming to warn the inhabitants of planet Earth of the impending destruction of the planet unless something seriously proper is done to avoid it. about Aladdin in his lamp. You've probably heard of that. The genie always says one thing. Your wish is my command. You know, the universe is this great genie, and your conscious mind is Aladdin. It formulates the intention of what you choose for your life. heart and core of all these secret societies lurks the Kabbalah. It is a method of encoding information through a system of mathematics and numbers. These people that belong to the secret societies never dared to write down in any language what they knew, what it was that they were guarding, because then someone could steal it and then the secret would be out. So they took this knowledge and they made it occult through a system of encoding encryption, one of which is mathematics, numbers. Another is architecture. Anybody wonder why do they have a fraternal organization called the Freemasons? Aren't those the guys that build walls? You bet they do. But every wall they build contains the secrets that have been kept and maintained throughout the ages and it's encoded in the architecture and in the measurements of the buildings and in the mathematical form or formulas used to derive the geometry, the shape, the length and breadth and height of rooms, all encoded there.